Hey guys, Smitty here, and today I'm gonna talk about all classes in general and will give you my personal opinion about what classes I think are the best and why. Note that the information in this video is mostly my opinion and you shouldn't take it as a guide. It's just my vision of the game and how I understand the system and the gameplay. This will be an awakening class list. Maybe in future I will make a pre-awakening tier list if you would like me to. My tier list will be based on three different contents as PvP Arena, PvE, which is AFK farming and boss farming that includes world bosses and private ones. I won't include Guild Wars as I didn't have a chance to test all the classes in Guild Wars. And the tier list under number 10 will be opened by the class that I loved to play PvP with the pre-awakening, the Blader. Quite good in all aspects but lacks some speed in my opinion. In PvP he isn't anymore a combo god, he feels limited and quite slow in between attacks. He has awful combo consisted of micro stun and knockdown. At least he have ranged attacks that helps him against ranged and running opponents in arena. The score in the PvP are worse than low tier. In PvE he is in mid tier. He can go for 60 kills per minute just as most classes do. This will depend on how well you choose the spot and how well you choose the skills to farm with. In bosses farming what counts the most is obviously the DPS, which is damage dealt every second. So here not only the damage of the skills what matters, but the consistency and the speed too. In AFK, Blader could get the same numbers as the other classes, but if you do it manual you can pull out good DPS by chaining his skills in a long DPS combo, so top tier. Number 9. Witch. Don't get me wrong, I like her as she's different from others, but that isn't enough for her to be in higher tiers. She depends a lot on gear score. And by this I mean if you have higher gear score, you won't have any problems killing your opponent with that abnormal skills range. And the 3 long immunity and our abilities will keep you safe from stunlocks. Now if you have lower gear score, you will have very hard time killing your target. You will have to play very safe and try not to let your opponent come close. But as soon as you run out of blinks, you become a free meal for almost every class. In last patches she even lost her frontal block on one of her skills that left her with even lower chances to win higher gear score PvPs. So my verdict is low tier. In PvE, if you choose well your spot and abilities, you can just stand in one spot spamming those ranged abilities to just kill all mobs around. But yet, that's not enough for top tier, mid tier. In terms of DPS, I would say she's the worst, but that's my personal opinion, I might be wrong. Low tier. Number 8. Tamer. She's quite strong. Her ultimate has so much stuff in it, it's like a juicy cocktail that have the best stuff mixed in it. Frontal block, good stun, immunity, knockdown and also an amazing damage. Pair it with the ability to use it twice and low cooldown, it might be one of the most overpowered skill in the game. A good tamer can make a challenge for any class, but still, I don't like her. She's easy to kite, no ranged abilities make her an easy pride for skilled players. So the only thing left to tamer is to play defensive and attack as soon as there is an opportunity to counter attack. I give her low tier in PvP. In PvE she's like Blader, nothing special, all depends on the spot and skills, mid tier. As a DPS she's quite good, all her skills do high damage, are fast and immune to control, so you can spam boss as well. And don't forget that ulti have frontal block, use it to block boss hard hitting abilities, top tier. Number 7. Valkyria. Valk was the last class I recorded and I honestly didn't like her very much but she's quite balanced. Still, she has an amazing combo, good effects, high damage output and the best heal of all classes that heals up to 800 HP at first level. Her survivability is strong and she has 3 skills that allows you to catch your opponents. On the other hand, many of her abilities strike in the straight line, which gives her less probability to hit the target. Also, her ultis are easy to evade and are too slow to use in combo. All this said, she's on mid tier. As a PvE, again, mid tier, nothing special, just like other, maybe even little worse. 
In boss fights, well, at least you can survive longer without potions and still do some damage, but not the best. Me too. Number 6. Warrior. This bad boy always was someone who was bringing fear each time when facing him on arena, but all changes when you apply some tactics against him. Now, Warrior is still a de Now Warrior is still a decent PvPer with some ridiculous damage output and a good combo. His ranged attack is something that you want to abuse in arena, as it does nice damage and gives you an opportunity to catch running and ranged opponents. In PvE he's kinda slow because of long animations, but again, not by a lot. Also mid tier. As for bosses, his skills do a good amount of damage, so even though animations are slower, you will still have a decent DPS mid-tier. Number 5. Dark Knight. Some classes become stronger after awakening, some not as much, and maybe even worse. Pre-awakening Dark Knight was such an overpowered class on Arena. The very long range stun that had two charges and that could penetrate shield Paired with highest damage combo, named Dark Knight as Gear Score Destroyer. You could easily deal with 300 plus gear score difference. Now, for Awakening, she became slightly weaker in Arena and not as effective as before. Still, she is very dynamic now, since both melee and ranged attacks are good to use in PvP. All that makes her quite fun to play, mid tier. As a PvE, Fast and ranged attacks give her an ability to clear fast spots, so definitely a good PvE class, top tier. Now for bosses, she doesn't have a huge damage output in skills, so nothing very special, mid tier. Number 4 is Striker. The latest class we received, and man, he received his awakening so fast, but is it really an awakening or just a bad joke? If other classes totally changed in Awakening, this one lost some skills and received just 3 chained skills. But after all, Striker doesn't even have an Awakening, he just has an absolute form of his skills, so no Awakening for Striker guys. Anyway, in a real guide I will put a Striker as a number 1 in PvP, since he's very strong if you play it right. In absolute form, he is the only one that can grab people. This is vital now. Since all classes now can easily abuse immunity skills without even thinking. Also, his tornado kicks are such a cheat, they are fast, do a lot of damage, have decent range and he's immune to crowd control skills, so that's an amazing stuff. Oh, and wait, he have two of them and the cooldown of it is only 6 seconds. A very strong skill, you can just run and spam those kicks in PvP easily, so top tier. In PvE, his ability to spam fast skills and the cheat tornado kick makes him a good spot cleaner, also top tier. For boss fights, even though Striker don't do a lot of damage, they are quite fast and if you remember, damage is not the only criterion in DPS, so maybe mid tier. And we have reached the top 3 classes of my list. Hope you're still watching this video, thank you guys. Number 3 in my list is Giant. When I first faced Giant in PvP, I was shocked that I couldn't see him at all. And when I finally tried him, I was double shocked when I was able to stay in immunity all the round and still do a lot of damage, stay alive and CC the hell out of my opponent. Currently I use Giant as my PvP class. This guy is such a cheater. His abilities are strong, have immunity, low cooldown and even heal. Just as a tamer, he has one skill with long immunity, 8 hits with stun, plus heal, plus a lot of damage, plus 2 casts and plus low cooldown. Really? That's so OP guys. And for harder situations, he even have 2 ranged abilities that knock back and knock down opponents. Can't say he has weaknesses if played right. The only class that can deal with a good giant is a good striker by grabbing and spamming tornado kicks and play safe. Other classes at same gear score stand no chance against giant guys. And also he's not that affected by ping as other classes like Sork or Ranger. So in PvP guys, this sweat boy is a god. 
the only one that have the god tier in PvP. In PvE he is also very good, large explosions and medium speed skills makes him decent in PvE, top tier. Against bosses he is good but not the best, there are better options, mid tier. Number 2. Ranger Fastest class in the game, in PvP you will need a lot of practice in order to use her properly. I had the most fun playing with Ranger in Arena. She can catch up very fast and if played well can stress the opponent jumping back and forward constantly damaging them. Her swirl ability is amazing for movement that let you save your blinks for the other situations. And also you have two more blinks that stuns to use in arsenal. Two ranged abilities, one with good damage and knockback, another with long frontal block and knockback and also a wide stun that sometimes also goes through the shields and even block. But you need a lot of practice to do it right, so top tier, everything said. PvE, here is where the ranged shines once again. In Lands of Wallow you will most of times have a higher amount of kills and if you stay with someone else on the spot you can be sure you will always win with the ranger. Didn't test the numbers, but I guess she can go easily over 85 kills per minute. So it's a definitely a god tier. In boss fights her DPS is good but not the best, so mid tier here. And as you could understand, the number one still stands for my most loved, the best class ever in the game. My number one will stand always for sorceress. Yes, she's just the best in my opinion. Though not the best in PvP, I didn't like her in PvP, but still she's number one for other stuff. And if she's not as good and easy as giant in PvP, she's still very fun and rewarding to play. Animations are nice, damage is good, ranged abilities and of course spin to win skill that everyone hates. In higher gear score matches, she's limited to use ranged attacks or try to stun with her immunity charge and do the combo. On Korea. I have more than 250 ping, I couldn't play her as I would like to, because hide and stun, which are her only indicators abilities, doesn't work properly. But I believe that with better ping, she's a beast in PvP. So after all, her range attacks, hide ability, immunity spin that helps you well against frontal blocks, can keep her on number one spot in this list, top tier. As a PvE, she is a godness. Keeping up with that 85 kills per minute score, she clears spots in a blink of an eye with her spin. So it's a definitely a god tier, just like Ranger. Same for boss fights. For the record, her spin ability at full cast does 20 hits, 150% each attack in PvE. That is 3k% percent damage in 2 seconds. And she has 2 charges of it. So only with 4 abilities on your panel, you can out damage any class in boss fights, so it's definitely a god tier. So that's my personal awakening classes tier list, hope you enjoyed guys. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe for more guys. Cheers and have a nice day.